Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Let to Heroes Trails in the Sky the Third. Last time, the Chancellor, the Blood and Iron Chancellor, came into Liberal himself to greet the Queen and also greet Oliver? Oh. Well, we really didn't have a choice. He kind of barged in on us. Yeah, what's going on here? What do you want? Oh, well, good to see you again, too. We don't really like you all that much, but good to see you, I guess. Yeah, and weren't you on a tour of Eastern Erebonia like Mueller said earlier? Oh, yeah, well, we knew that. Oh, well, that's good. I like the music here right now, it's really nice. You know, good tunes. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna assume that the confusion of Southern Arabonia refers to the horrible shutdown phenomenon that happened here in Liberal, and it also affected, you know, the southern regions of Arabonia. Well, you know, you just happen to be here, so pop on by. Oh, yeah. I mean, it is her country. You probably should talk to her first. She is the queen. Oh, well, thanks. I like his sprite work here, and I like his artwork here, too. And I like how they, like, took this as inspiration, and they, you know, gave him his 3D form in uh, Cold Steel. It, 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 it transferred pretty well. Oh, yeah, but it wasn't really your fault, but yeah, it did happen. Oh, yeah, Ouroboros, but don't worry, Ouroboros will head over to your country soon enough! Oh, yeah, you know, it could have been misinterpreted as, um, you trying to invade Liberal. You know, you tried to do it about ten years ago, too, so why not now? Oh, yeah. Oh, well, thanks, no problem. Yeah, a lot of days work. Oh, really? Wow! He really gets around, doesn't he? They don't even—they don't even have like bracer guilds in Erebonia, so it's kind of surprising that you know his name would be that well known. But then again, you know Erebonia is a very militant country, and he's um, risen up the ranks in the army as well. So I guess it could make sense. And you know he did beat their ass back, you know, ten years ago during the Hundred Days War. Well, thanks. Oh. Oh, really? Huh. Yeah, Richard wanted to establish one here um, in Liberal, but that kind of fell by the wayside, uh, you know, because he tried to overthrow the Queen. <laughs> oh. Yeah, why are you here? Just to stop in and say hi? Uh, yeah? Oh, well, you weren't exactly invited, but sure, I guess if you want to, you can. Oh, but you can't. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, what do you want to talk about? You know, you could look at the queen whenever you're talking to her. I mean, if I was addressing royalty, I would look at her too. Oh. Okay, so, yeah. This is so odd to me. He really came here just to talk to Oliver. He really didn't come here to talk to the queen. Like, he could have waited. Oliver was headed back to Erebonia anyway, and he was in Eastern Erebonia. Why did he fly all the way to Liberal? Oliver was going to be there tonight. He could have just flew to Heimdall and then met him there. Why did he have to come in here to the castle and meet him here? It's just strange. You know the strange thing? 
this door doesn't really involve Mueller, like, at all. It really involves Oliver, Chloe, Osborne. It's really more of Oliver's door than Mueller's door. He's just kind of here. Oh, well, thanks. Yeah, no kidding. This isn't Summer Night 5 where we go on for five minutes about the proper coffee and everything. Yeah, what do you want? Well, has something changed? Am I still not bright or something? Come on now. Oh. Well, thanks, I think. Oh. <laughs> uh. You know, you would think that Oliver would have plenty of power that if he didn't want all these places to be annexed by Erebonia, that he would just tell the Chancellor, hey, don't annex them, and that would be the end of that. But it looks like the Chancellor actually has more power than the royal family. Yeah, no kidding. I kind of agree here. Yeah, this is what happened over in uh, Crossbell. Yep, that's what happened at that trade conference when the Jaegers attacked and everything. Yep. Hmm. And I wonder who's behind all that. But honestly, like, okay. As an outside viewer looking in, I see how this is bad, and I see how this is evil, but I also see his point. You know, it, Erebonia is an expanding, growing empire, and, you know, it, if there are enemies on its borders, they kind of need to take care of that. And in order to grow and prosper, they need to annex more places. It just, it is what it is. That's, you know, it happened in, it happened in real life here on Earth, you know, back in the 17, 1800s, whenever Europe went around and colonized every place, they just annexed all sorts of territories. It was the same deal, and then they grew and grew and grew and got more and more and more powerful, and that's the same thing that's happening here with Erebonia. So, whereas Oliver is saying that he doesn't like it, he is prospering from it, you know, and honestly, as Prince, he has a lot more power than he's actually exerting. If he really didn't want all this stuff to happen, he could find a way to put a stop to it. Oh. Yeah. Like a certain terrorist that will meet in Cold Steel. Oh. Really? Well, they didn't exactly do their job all that well. Oh. So he's like an undercover bodyguard, and he's also his secretary, and he's also working for the intelligence division? Wow, he wears a lot of hats, doesn't he? Really? I thought that you guys already annexed Crossbell. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, no kidding. Crossbell's a mess right now. Yeah. So I guess they haven't annexed it. It's, it's really hard for me to keep track of what has happened, what hasn't happened, what year we're in. You know, I, I know that eventually it gets annexed by Erebonia. I guess it happens back in the Cold Steel games, and it hasn't happened here in the Sky games. But it looks like it's in the process of getting annexed. Like, it'll happen soon enough. Oh, really? Huh. Oh, well, too bad you're not gonna be on the aerosol. Oh. Yeah. Well, Thanks, I think. Oh, hey, Lecter. What's going on? Is that Sieg? Oh, hey, it is. Oh, that's right. He got to meet Sieg and kind of talk to him. 
back in Chloe's two-hour door. No. Same old bird as always. I wonder if you can actually talk to Seek, or if it's just kind of like, you know, he's kind of like petting it like a dog, you know? Oh, it's so nice to see you, I'm so, you know, you're happy, all that kind of stuff. Or if he's able to actually speak to animals. I mean, this is a JRPG. You never know. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, what did happen? What's going on here? What do you mean? Wait, seriously? Yeah, come on now. Um, you can't pull the wool over her eyes. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, uh, no. She's not that stupid. Oh, yeah, that is true. Like, you didn't even finish out the year. You just up and left. Yeah. It's kind of crappy of you. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, I like Lucy. She was the one who hit him and dragged him all the time. <laughs> oh. Jill and Hunt, well, especially Jill. I could give two shits about it. I really don't care. <laughs> oh, like, go over and give her a hug. Tell her that you're happy to see her. Come on now. Be a good guy. She's worried about you! She's human! God frickin' forbid! Man! Excuse me for giving a damn about you, what's your problem? Uh, yeah, she's having a good time. Good for her. Yeah, you know, and you've saved the world and everything too. That is true. If it wasn't for you, she wouldn't have opened up and actually made all those friends that she did. Ooh, No. She's a princess. You can't just go around kissing her. Oh. <laughs> Chloe is rather pretty, I must say. <laughs> Lecter's kind of cute, too, I've got to say, also. Eh. I like Lecter's personality. He reminds me a lot of Oliver um, in his personality as well. Oh yeah, they really kept on talking about how slovenly he looked before, although it didn't show in his sprite or artwork or anything. Oh, maximum effect of looking like a slob? Oh, that is true. Yeah, seriously, what's your deal? Like, you're pretty good at avoiding the subject. I mean, she came over here, she asked you a direct question, and for the last ten minutes you've been... deflecting. And we get a black screen to explain NOTHING! So we don't get an answer to her question, that's just lovely. Oh, so what's going on over here? What do you mean by that? Yeah. Well, it's his country. He can't hate his own country. I mean, he is the prince, for God's sakes. Oh, yeah. Well, we're going to try to change that in Cold Steel. Well, kind of, sort of, yeah. Well, what do you mean? Oh, yeah. You know, and everybody talks about how awful the Chancellor is, but honestly, he is doing good for the common people. He's trying to make reforms and, you know, um, decrease the power of the noble faction and just the nobility in general so that the commoners can raise themselves up by their own bootstraps, and it seems like everybody's against him. But honestly, to me, he seems like a pretty decent guy because... Who else is going to fight for the commoners, you know? You know, the nobles aren't going to do it, the royal family isn't going to do it, apparently, so... At least, he's fighting for the for the little guy, you know? Fighting for the underdog here. Well, he's trying to. 
Uh, yeah. Well, hmm. That would be a nice plan, but we saw what happened in Cold Steel 2. What's that? Oh. Does he work for Ouroboros? Is this why Oliver hates him? Huh. And he's not exactly denying that he works for Ouroboros. Hmm. Okay. Things are starting to make a bit more sense to me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. As of right now, the nobles aren't doing anything bad. They're just maintaining the status quo, whereas the Chancellor is doing things bad as far as, you know, annexing territories and um, throwing various governments into, um, you know, a corrupt state where they have to ask for help and then, you know, they get taken over. How could he not? Really? The first stage of your reforms is to throw your own country into chaos. Wow. Um, hmm, you're kind of a dick. <laughs> why would we work with you? Why, why are you telling the prince this? Why are you telling the prince that you were elected to throw your own country into a state of rebellion and chaos? That's horrible. I mean, okay. It's one thing trying to pass reforms and pass laws and try to do it, you know, the right way, the proper way. It's a total other thing to, you know, knowingly throw your own country into a civil war. I mean, that's just going too far. Hmm. So what can you do? Can you stop him? Is there anything that you can do? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of with you there, Oliver. Oh, hey, you two. Oh, so you're still not going to explain what happened or why you joined up or, you know, why you left here and moved on to Erebonia, or what you're doing, or how you joined the Intelligence Division, or anything. So nothing gets, gets answered. Yeah, pretty much. Really? What does it have to do? Like, answer the freaking question! What is wrong with you? Well, she didn't fall in love with you. You know, and Chloe, as a princess, you should have more resolve and just be like, you know, quit trying to deflect. Quit trying to make me talk about other things that really are meaningless, like as far as my love life and all that kind of stuff. As a princess, it's really none of his freaking business who she fell in love with or if she fell in love at all. Like, answer the freaking question! Uh, but yeah, it is cute. She fell in love with Joshua and everything. Aww, gets a kiss on the forehead. How sweet. Ah. Yeah, what exactly do you want to be, or who do you want to be? What exactly are you trying to accomplish? Because it's not like we really got to know a lot about you in the Cold Steel games. I mean, we did get to meet you and see you and, you know, you're a Milliam's friend and blah blah blah, but we didn't get to know too much about you. Oh, yeah, unfortunately. Oh. Oh. Huh. So Lecter knows that the Chancellor is a monster. He knows what he's doing is bad, yet he's still working for him. Maybe he's spying on him. Maybe, you know, he's actually working, you know, on the inside.
Remifaria? I thought that you guys were going to, um, Crossbell. Unless Remifaria is on the way to Crossbell. I thought that Remifaria was its own, like, city-state. And I thought that Crossbell bordered Liberal. So why would you go to Remifaria? Ah, I don't know. I guess maybe it's like a connection flight. They have to stop there and then they land in Crossbell or something. Who knows? I'm sure it's not important. I'm probably looking too deep into things, but then again, this is a Legend of Heroes game, so you can never look too deep into something as every little tiny thing comes back to um, haunt you, I guess. <laughs> if that's the right term, probably not. Oh, yeah. No kidding. Oh, well, no problem. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that is true. <laughs> yeah, so do you have any news about Lecter? Okay. Oh. Yeah, but you don't know all that much either. All you know is, you know, he basically went to the same school as you. But as far as what he's doing now, in this past two years, we really have no idea. Or why, or it's, I mean, we know what he's doing, but it's really the why is he doing what he is right now. That's the big question. That's some pretty good advice, actually. Yeah, well, what are you gonna do? Do you have a plan? Oh. What is it? Okay, so that's the Erebonian ship. You can tell because it has that horse on the front of it right there. Um, headed off to Remifaria. But what's going on? Yeah, no kidding. I mean, he's the prince of the country. You can't really use him like a pawn in your little game. Like you can your employees or whoever. Really? Huh. So, Lecter right now is basically telling Osborne, hey, watch your back because I may betray you in the future. Wow. Wait, and then Osborne's like, hmm, this is all part of my plan. My omnipotent plan is for me to use you as a pawn and then for you to sometime in the future come back and betray me. But yeah, this is my plan. Give me a fucking break. <laughs> this whole, like, thing about these these uh, evil villains having these plans, these just, like, plans years in advance, and they're planning, like, in their plans for people to, debra to betray them? I mean, come on. I must think they were idiots. Oh, it's the Aracel. And Mueller and Oliver. What are you guys doing? Reminds me of something from Final Fantasy IV. But then again, in Final Fantasy IV, they actually stopped and they talked to each other. There'd be no... That's cute. There'd be no way that these two could actually... I don't know. Hear each other? Listen to each other? And these rose petals would be gone in like two seconds. They're like going like, what, 600 miles an hour on these airships? Oh, yeah. That would be us. Oh, well, what's that? What's that message? 
Oh, that's nice. I was thinking that his message might have like a secret code in it for the Chancellor, but it doesn't seem like it does. And away he goes. How are these rose petals still there? Like, those will be blown away in two seconds. <laughs> What's so funny? Oh. Oh. Rahahahili! And thus begins Trails of Cold Steel! Yeah. I wish we got to see that scene before we started Cold Steel because it actually does explain quite a bit. Ooh, Divine Eye. I'll have to check that out. Now that we're finally done with that door. These doors, like, that's supposed to be a small scene. Took, like, an hour. But anyway, let's see what we got here. I should probably, like, actually, you know, equip some quartz on these people. Oh, wow. Those are some really good quartz, except for scent. Yeah. But anyway, next time, let's play the Lind Heroes Trails in the Sky the Third. We're going to move on and do yet another door. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. And have a good day.